Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from fellow YouTuber Legends of Monstera. So I purchased two plants from Jimmy and they're both from his Etsy shop and you should definitely go check it out. I'll put a link to that and his YouTube down below. So this package only took two business days to get here so that was really quick. They're packed with this stuffing which is actually pretty cushiony for a plant which is interesting. I've never actually had a plant shipped in this so that's different. <laughs> So the first plant I have here is actually a Philodendron Gloriosum and I got this one for $48 and this is actually the small size and it looks really cute. I actually didn't know that they had these red edgings in person so that's really nice. But you can see here this is a pretty young leaf. It looks really cute and I'm excited for this to get really big. So tiny. The white veining is so prominent and it almost looks like a painted on look, which is really pretty. And if you notice in the back, it actually has more of a, a peachy pink hue all along the veins, which is really stunning. All right, so then my second plant is a Philodendron Squamiferum. So this one I paid 60 for. And actually the reason I wanted this is because it has fuzzy petioles. So if you see here, they just look really cute. I love the red color too. It reminds me a lot of a Philodendron Florida ghost, obviously without the fuzziness, but it's really pretty. I think that's quite a unique feature for a plant, so I'm really excited about it. Staring like a creeper. And I'm really glad to add these to my collection. So I wanna thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> so fuzzy. So the good thing is if you aren't really squeamish, this is still a good plant for you. Unlike the philodendron serpents, that is extremely hairy. So if you are not into that or that creeps you out, that is not the plant for you. But if you still want a little bit of fuzz, just something kind of a little bit of cute to add to your plant, a little bit of uniqueness, this is definitely one you should go for. It's nothing crazy and they're really, really cute. Mm. <laughs> Try to get really close. Petiole shot of this one. But as you can tell, they are really short. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually pot these guys up. So I'll be able to show you the roots. Took the sphagnum off. And I'm just having it sit in a very diluted Fison 20, just because there was a root that had dark and mushiness to it. And just to make sure that any bacteria is killed off, I'm just gonna have it sit in that for a couple seconds. Okay, so there's the close-up of its roots. If you're wondering why I had my little screaming jump, it's just because there was one of those, it's not a plant-related bug, but it's one of those little creepy crawlies that were just on it and I didn't expect it and I wigged out a little bit. But that's just me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna pot it in a typical aeroid mix. So this just has some Coir in it, orchid bark, perlite, pretty basic things, pretty airy mixture as well. So I know I'm potting it in a six inch pot where it probably should go in a four inch pot, but I'm just gonna do this anyway and adjust my watering to make sure I don't put too much in it. and there is my cute little philodendron gloriosum. Okay, so here are the roots on the squamiferum. So this one is actually a lot more substantial than the other one, but the other one is a smaller plant, and this one looks pretty great.
okay, so I have this one all potted up and I dare say it looks pretty cute. Really loving these petioles. Absolutely adore that. Super beautiful. And this is a very healthy plant. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the foliage. Doesn't look sick or anything. No pests. So I do highly recommend Legends of Monstera. Everything just came out really nicely and I was actually impressed with the packaging. I'm definitely not used to that kind of packaging, but the plant was completely secure and safe. Okay, so it's actually been a few weeks since I filmed the original video and I just wanted to show you that I also purchased from him the Scandapsis Pictus Jade. It's so stunning. I'm absolutely so happy to have this plant. I wanted it for so long. I'm obsessed with collecting Scandapsis Pictus. <laughs> So to have the jade one finally in my collection, it's just so, so gorgeous. And I'm absolutely obsessed. Just looks so classy. <laughs> okay, so I also got, at the same time I got my Scandapsis, this philodendron radiatum. It is so beautiful and large. Absolutely obsessed. And I'll put the prices down below for these because it's been a little while and I can't quite remember how much they were, but they just look beautiful and they're so healthy. And then I have my Squama Firm here. Pretty happy. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you my Gloriosum again. So he's doing good. Looking pretty. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna segue back into the video. <laughs> so I do also wanna mention that shipping was free, which is really great. So I don't know why, but free shipping always incentivizes me to buy plants. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Also, I would appreciate any feedback down below. And if you wanna see more content, I do put out a video every Wednesday, so please subscribe and turn on your bell icon. And this is the pudge. You looking cute. <laughs> I feel like I should have more cats in videos just because I'm the plant's meow. So I'm going to start throwing these guys in. Right? He's like, whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching.